Hello everybody, today I've got myself the Fifine K034 wireless UHF 25 channel microphone here on the channel, ready for an unboxing and review. Very quickly as for the unboxing experience here, pulling off the tab reveals the Fifine uh, business card and the Fifine uh, K034 uh, user's guide. If you've not used a product like this before, this user guide will be very useful to you. As you can see here, it uses the USB connection, so it is completely wireless. Pulling over the next tab here, we have the microphone itself, which we'll get to in a second. Some more packaging. Finally, another tab here. And we have a 3.5mm auxiliary cable, which will be used to go from the back of the dongle, which is here, into your speaker. It's pretty large though, I definitely bear that in mind compared to a normal flash drive or thumb drive, whatever you want to call it, it is pretty big. In a step order, you'll plug the dongle into the computer, plug any 3.5mm cable into the back of the dongle, and then plug the, the other end of the auxiliary cable into a speaker. Then you grab the microphone, unscrew the two screws at the bottom, and put in two AA batteries. And it's sad to see that this microphone is not rechargeable, which means it will be pretty expensive um, to obviously buy new batteries every time it dies, um, but it is what it is. The next step is obviously turning it on, which you hold the on button for two seconds. Greet you with hello. Here you can view the frequency in the channel. As for the channel, um, you just hit it, hit the on button very quickly three times in a row. As you can see, it changes channel. To seven now so it has 25 different channels basically if you have another wireless product and it is uh, interfering with this microphone simply change the channel and you'll be good to go look it up to the computer give you guys a little bit of a sound test and a comparison to a much more expensive microphone and talk a little bit about the microphone itself hey everybody so i now have the microphone hooked up to the computer and i'm talking about two inches away from the microphone so of course i have no editing to this audio it's just me speaking into it as I normally would on my Blue Yeti. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think this microphone sounds absolutely brilliant. I am going to hook up my Blue Yeti and give it a sound comparison. So remember the sound, we're now gonna compare it to the Blue Yeti. So we're now talking into a much more expensive microphone. Uh, in this particular case, it's a Blue Yeti. So I'm not trying to talk too much about the Blue Yeti, but I'm just giving uh, you guys a comparison between Fifine wireless microphone and a much more expensive and premium uh, microphone, uh, in this case, a Blue Yeti. So the Blue Yeti is 120 pounds or $150. Um, so it does set it apart. It's almost in a different league um, but I'm just gonna um, leave the decision up to you uh, watch which one you think sounds better and whether it's uh, worth spending the extra money uh, just give you guys that nice um, idea of what your money can get okay so I am back talking into the Fifine uh, wireless microphone here and uh, I've been doing multiple recordings and playing them back and I'm extremely impressed with the uh, audio quality of such a cheap microphone. Um, Fifine are sure dominating the market with this thing. Like I said uh, earlier, there is only one um, negative thing with this microphone and that's that it does not have a micro USB charging cable. It, um, it uses two AA batteries which means once they die which they inevitably will if you use it all the time uh, it's pretty expensive batteries are very expensive they're like six pounds usually just for a pack of like eight uh, so it's eight uses so you're almost having to pay to use it if you were to just get a micro usb charger we all know electricity costs nothing so it, that would work much better but yep uh, this what you could you be using this for um obviously podcasts i think this is perfect for um, I don't think you'd even need to buy a stand because it is so comfortable to hold in the hand. Uh, I've been holding it for so many hours making this video, trying different things, doing so many tests with it, and it's been very comfortable. Uh, if When you're picking it up for the first time in a while, it's really cold uh, because of its really nice high-quality material it's made out of. The only reason I think you might want to think about purchasing a stand or an arm for this is generally if you're maybe... Uh, recording of uh, youtube or something and you're doing a live recording and you cannot hold it whilst doing whatever you're doing on the computer or whatever um otherwise this microphone's absolutely fantastic um that's my only thing if it had a micro usb charger uh, that'd be great uh to see but otherwise um i 100 percent recommend you get this microphone even if you're maybe not even looking for a wireless microphone it's probably worth considering because 
wireless is the way i'm going to run it up here if you have any queries on the microphone make sure to leave them in the comment section below or you can any other questions you may have you can also um check on the question and answer page on the product as well i do have a written review on the product as well you can check that out um uh, I've written that um, on our link that in the description as well. So if you would like to read a review of it, you can check that out there as well. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next review.